If you are in your 30s or 40s working hard, taking care of your family, and you get hit with high cholesterol on a lab test, it can feel like a wake-up call. But what if you've been misled about what really causes it? Have you been told that eating eggs will clog your arteries? Spoiler alert! It's not that simple. Today we are cracking open the truth about cholesterol. And trust me, there is no yolk in this story. When I started studying dietetics and functional medicine, this was one of the biggest eye-openers. Cholesterol is not the enemy, and in many cases, your body is using it to protect you. Cholesterol has been painted as bad guy for decades and you probably heard it causes heart disease and must be avoided. But what if cholesterol isn't the villain at all? What if it's just part of your body's natural defense system and the real problem is something else? Let's break down what actually causes high cholesterol and how to manage it right way. Here is the first thing you need to know. Cholesterol isn't some toxic sludge. It's essential. Every single cell in your body uses cholesterol to build strong, healthy membranes. It also helps your body make hormones like estrogen and testosterone and bile acid uh, to digest fats. Your body literally makes cholesterol on its own because it needs it to survive. Your liver is your building cholesterol factory. If you eat more cholesterol, it produces less. If you eat less, it ramps up production. That's why dietary cholesterol, like what's in eggs, usually has very little impact on your blood levels. The body self-regulates, unless something else throws it off. Since cholesterol is a type of fat, it can't float around in your blood by itself. It needs a right. And that's where lipoproteins come in. And you probably heard about bad cholesterol, good cholesterol, so LDL and HDL are those guys. LDL delivers cholesterol to cells, and HDL cleans it up and sends it back to the liver. But here's the twist. LDL isn't bad by default. It only becomes a problem when there is inflammation or damage in your arteries. So what actually damages arteries and turns cholesterol into a risk? One word, inflammation. High blood sugar, processed food, smoking, they create oxidative stress and inflammation. This irritates your blood vessels and your body sends cholesterol as a patch. The cholesterol is not the attacker, it's the band-aid. In so many of my consultations, we discover that the root cause isn't fat at all, it's inflammation, and once we fix that, the numbers improve naturally. Let me now show you what actually happens inside a blood vessel. Here is the healthy artery. Smooth walls, blood flowing freely. And now, suddenly here we have some inflammation. It damages the lining. LDL cholesterol comes in trying to patch the damage like a band-aid. But over time, with ongoing damage and no cleanup crew, it builds up, forming a cholesterol plaque. That's what narrows the artery. Let's be clear, it's not butter or eggs. What truly drives high cholesterol are things like refined carbs and sugar, trans fats and industrial seed oils, smoking and chronic stress. These things damage your arteries, trigger inflammation and mess with your lipid levels. It's time we stop blaming the omelet and start looking at the bigger picture. People worry about saturated fat, but current research shows it's not the main driver of high cholesterol. The real issue ultra-processed foods, lack of fiber, and chronic blood sugar spikes. There is one more factor I see all the time in my consultations that barely gets mentioned – bile stasis. When bile isn't flowing well from the liver and gallbladder. Since bile helps eliminate excess cholesterol, poor bile flow can lead to cholesterol buildup in the blood. And if you are also physically inactive, everything slows down – metabolism, circulation, detox. Movement helps keep bile flowing, supports liver function, and promotes cholesterol balance in a completely natural way. So what can you do? Focus on the big five. Eat healthy fats like olive oil, fish, nuts and seeds. Cut sugar and processed snacks. 
load up on fiber, oats, beans, veggies, flax seeds, move your body, exercise increases good HDL, and manage stress because cortisol messes with cholesterol too. Sometimes diet and lifestyle aren't enough. If you have familial hypercholesterolemia, a genetic condition, uh, medication like statins may be necessary. These drugs block cholesterol production in the liver. They work, but they are not for everyone and side effects exist so always talk to your doctor before jumping on or off meds. So what actually causes high cholesterol? It's not eggs, it's not butter, it's inflammation, nutrient imbalances, and lifestyle habits. If this helped you rethink what you thought you knew, hit that like, subscribe, and share with someone who needs to hear it. Have you had your cholesterol checked recently? Drop your thoughts in the comments.